coming. Hi, I'm Jensen, and I'm going to be your occupational therapist today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And how would you like to be addressed? Allie. Great. It's great to meet you. I know you're familiar with occupational therapy and what we do as occupational therapists. A little bit. So basically what we do is we see where you are now. We get a baseline for where you are and try to figure out some goals you have in life and then get you back to doing the things you need and love to do in life. And then today, I'm going to be asking you some background questions and getting an idea of your daily routine, your values, what some of your struggles have been, and what you do well in life. Um, and then I'm going to see how I can help you try to reach those goals that you have. Okay, that sounds good. All right. And it should take no more than 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so could you describe a typical weekday before entering the OTD program here? Um, before I entered the OTD lived in Arizona, so I would get up really early and just wake up, go to work, go to the gym, go hang out with friends or family, eat dinner, maybe go grocery shopping, and go to bed. Okay, so it seemed like you have a pretty set schedule before entering the program. Yes. And you did a lot of activities throughout the day. Right. Okay. And does your current daily schedule allow you to do all those things? Not as much as I wish. I wish I could go to the gym more and eat healthier than getting to this program. Okay. And so how has your schedule changed, do you think, over the last three months? Over the last three months, I've definitely worked out less. Um, I haven't been eating as healthy. I haven't been in touch with my friends and family as much as I used to be. Uh, I'm now like a lot more stressed out. I spend a lot more time doing schoolwork than ever before. Um, it's changed in those ways, mainly. And how often do you think you're able to, say, go to the gym, or how often do you think you're in touch with your family? Right now, I'm only able to go to the gym about three times a week, and I talk to my family through text message probably every day, but it's so different than being with them in person. Okay. And what are some of the things that you value most? Um, I definitely value friends, family, and health, and um, yeah, those are the five. Okay, what were the, some of the things that you did with your family when you were back in Arizona? Um, we loved to all work out together. We'd all go to this gym that we all belong to together, like at least three times a week. We loved going out to eat. We went to a, our like neighborhood Greek restaurant almost every week, and the waiters and owners knew us there. It's just, that's changed, obviously, since now I'm really far away from my family. Yeah, for sure. So you would say that being out of touch with your family has been kind of hard. Yes, that journey. Right. And would you say you're currently able to live um, your life in ways that can fit with those values? Um, I try my best because I believe my values are really inherent in who I am. But it's been hard just with, like, different time demands and different demands like always being placed on me. Okay. And what things in your life do you do well or you're proud of? I think I'm most proud of like, being a good friend, being a good daughter, sister. I really uh, value my relationships with friends and my family and I think I do those well and I also think I try really hard at school and I'm proud of that as well. How are some of the ways that you are a good sister, a good family member? I think just reaching out to them when I can. Um, even though I haven't had a lot of time to talk to them lately, I've always tried to make them a priority if they're going through something or if they're struggling. Okay, that's great. And what are some of the things that have been difficult for you? Definitely, um, like, not working out. That's definitely increased my stress because I use it as such a stress relief. Um, also, not being in touch with my friends back home and like family back home, I've had a little bit of a lack of support system there. And how do you think your support system is here? Do you have a pretty strong one? It's being built. Like I really love all the people I've met here. They're great people in this program. They're really genuine and they really care about others as well as making strong connections. Good. So do you think you've made um, 
friends and good connections with good people. Yes. And like, yeah. And what would you say your biggest challenge is since you've been here? My biggest challenge overall would probably be time management, just managing all my schoolwork and all my social obligations at once. Okay, so you think there's like a kind of like an imbalance there? Yes. Where is the area you think you're most struggling with? Schoolwork, I would schoolwork. say. Yeah, just like putting over, I'm overemphasizing schoolwork and things, things like that. Yeah, that's expected in being in a new program, not yeah. being quite sure how much you put in. Um, and how successful do you think you'll be in the next six months? Um, I plan on being really successful in the next six months. I always try my best to always work hard at school, and that is something that I really want to do. So I believe in myself that I'll be able to be successful in the next six months as well. And what are the, some of the ways that you think you're going to be able to do that? Um, just trying my best at school, really working hard every day at schoolwork, and just really being on top of things. Okay, so that was the last question. I'm going to go through some of the information just to make sure I got everything. Um, so it seems like you had a pretty steady schedule before entering the program, and now that you're in the program and so far from home, um, your schedule is kind of different. Um, you don't have time to do some of the things you used to do, going to the gym, cooking healthy meals. Um, you said health was a, a huge value in your life, and that's something you're struggling with. Um, and then also staying in touch with your family and making sure that you make time for them and are able to call them and see them and keep up with what's going on in their lives. And then as for school, um, you're struggling with some of the time management, seeing, trying to find a balance between social life and school because you're spending a lot of time um, doing schoolwork. Um, do you think I missed anything? Did I get everything? I think you did a great job. Yeah. Okay, great. And do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. Well, the next step is going to make an action plan, figuring out um, exactly what your goals are and implementing strategies where we can reach those goals, um, trying to find a good balance in your life, and you know, being able to keep up with your values, family, friends, and school and health all together, really keeping that balance, and then being able to do all the things that you want to do in life. That's it. Thank That's you. Good. Thank it was you. very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too.